Ellie and Miko are a married couple living in a secluded Finnish archipelago. For a long time, the pastor and the housekeeper could not find a place to live, but decided to stay in the wilderness, where there is practically no connection or internet. While her husband is at work, Ellie enjoys nature and satisfies herself. It seems that this family is completely ordinary and nothing interesting happens in their lives. Lunch, dinner, and bed are all that connect husband and wife as they have different interests and views on life. Sometime later, Miko reports that due to the pandemic spreading around the world, his friend wants to come visit them. He lives in Paris, but prohibitions and restrictions interfere with creative work, so Olavi wants to stay with them for a few months. Having learned about the imminent arrival of a guest, Ellie tidies up and creates a cozy atmosphere in the house. Soon, Olavi arrives on the archipelago, having met the charming Leena, who lives on this island. Having greeted the guest, Ellie goes into the house and almost cries, having a hard time worrying about this. As it turned out, Ellie and Olavi once dated and loved each other. They were a wonderful couple, but the man left, and Ellie met Miko, after which she married him. Soon the couple manages to be alone and talk about the past, sorting out their feelings. It seems that everything is over, but at night Ellie cannot sleep, hearing the steps of Olavi, who lives in the room directly above their bedroom. The couple spends the next few days together with their friend, but Ellie suffers more and more because of Olavi. Miko soon leaves for work and promises to return in a few days. Ellie decides to spend some free time with her guest and shows him the island, talking about her relationship with her husband. In the evening, Olavi prepares a terrible dinner and amuses the couple with his jokes. A little later, the couple locks themselves in the bedroom to be alone. Olavi, being nearby, is forced to listen to Ellie's moans and envy her husband. The next morning, Miko leaves for church, and Ellie spends time at the seashore. Upon returning home, she invites Olavi to join her and go to church to look at her husband's work. In church, the woman increasingly looks not at Miko, but at his friend, remembering her past relationship. After the service, the husband reports that he is forced to leave the archipelago for a couple of days and go to the mainland to conduct a funeral. Meanwhile, Olavi communicates with Leena and notices that the girl has another fan who is clearly not indifferent to her. On the way home, Ellie reports that Leena is actively searching and wants to find a more suitable match for marriage. Olavi would be ideal for her because the man is not only handsome and educated, but also cheerful, so she will never be bored with him. Upon returning home, Olavi carefully examines Ellie, and this confuses her. They spend the entire evening together, relaxing on the seashore and allowing themselves a little drink. In the evening, Ellie goes to her bedroom and hears Olavi's steps. This excites the woman and she gives herself some pleasure. The next morning, Olavi and Ellie go fishing, during which the woman admits that she would like to escape from the island and live happily, but her husband is holding her back. A man sympathizes with her sincerity, since they know what they want from life and always achieve their goal. Upon returning home, Ellie decides to change clothes, but Olavi enters the bedroom. The woman would like to be alone, but the company of an old acquaintance does not bother her at all. Realizing that the sympathy and desires are mutual, Olavi seduces Ellie in order to have a good time together. At some point, they were interrupted by Laina and other residents of the archipelago, who decided to visit their wife Miko. Ellie would like to be alone with Olavi, but she cannot afford it. She, like an exemplary wife, receives guests, and makes a small party. At some point, she is asked to light the bathhouse, but the only visitors are Olavi and Leena. Ellie is terribly jealous of her husband's friend for the charming girl, 
realizing that he chose Lena and not her. Back in the bedroom, Ellie cries and feels betrayed, but decides to return to the guests. At night, Olavi and the other guests set sail on the yacht to have fun and continue the party. At dawn, Olavi returns home and meets an angry Ellie. The woman did not sleep well and is chopping wood in order to somehow calm down and distract herself. A little later, Ellie and Olavi go to the beach to swim. A man is seduced by a woman's beauty, but she does not allow him to approach because she feels betrayed. On the way home, Ellie again succumbs to her feelings and takes the man's hand. At some point, she shows sympathy for Olavi, but he is afraid of a personal relationship with her since the woman has been married for a long time. Upon returning home, the couple learns that Mickey has arrived from the mainland earlier than planned. The preacher talks about the delights of life on the island because it allowed him to realize many things that he did not understand before. Ellie does not listen to her husband at all, since all her thoughts are completely different. In the evening, the couple is having a good time together, forgetting to close the bedroom door. Hearing the woman's moans, Olavi decides to look into the room and sees the charming Ellie. She also notices him, but continues to be in her husband's arms in order to make Olavi jealous. The family friend returns to his bedroom and, hearing Ellie's voice, is pleased. The next morning, Olavi reports that he cannot go to church with his friend because he has a lot of work and does not have time to finish the project. Ellie, taking this as a hint, also refuses to join Miko, causing him to leave alone. A little later, the woman shows attention to a family friend, but Olavi rejects her explaining that he is busy with a scientific project. Ellie gets upset and goes to the seashore to do yoga and relax a little. Upon returning home, she cooks dinner, plays a musical instrument, and notices that Olavi has disappeared. Worried, she goes into the forest and finds a man who has decided to take a short walk in the fresh air. Ellie once again shows interest in Olavi, but he pushes her away. He understands that they have different views on life, and she has an obstacle in the form of her husband. Despite falling in love and old feelings, Olavi does not want anything personal, because he understands that there is no point in this. At the same time, he confesses to Ellie that he loves her, which is why the woman doubts the correctness of her choice and thinks about divorcing her husband. The next morning, Ellie suggests going on a boat trip, and the couple sets off to a remote island. After a short walk, the woman chooses a beautiful place on a rock to have a small picnic. Feeling mutual sympathy, Ellie and Olavi become close again. The woman allows to give a little pleasure, but is afraid of continuation. Not deciding to cheat on her husband, she prematurely ends the date and offers to return home. Miko, returning from church, reports that today is the anniversary of meeting his wife and suggests celebrating it. Ellie has a hard time with her feelings for Olavi and locks herself in the bedroom screaming in pain and doubt. Meanwhile, Miko talks to a friend and talks about how his wife doesn't want children. This really offends the man because he dreams of a full-fledged family and does not understand what his wife is missing. As soon as Miko leaves to light the fire for the barbecue, Olavi expresses his displeasure to Ellie. He doesn't want the husband to touch his wife and is very jealous of her. In the evening, Miko continues to show attention to his wife, but this annoys her. At some point, Ellie can't stand it and quarrels with her husband, forbidding him to approach her. A woman runs away from home to be alone with her thoughts. She swims in the sea and rests on the shore, after which she returns home. After asking her husband for forgiveness for her behavior, Ellie goes up to Olavi's bedroom. That same night, she cheats on Miko with his best friend, not afraid that her husband hears everything. In the morning, 
Miko goes up to the second floor and sees his wife and Olavi in the same bed. The man takes the incident seriously and is left alone in his own bedroom. Soon, Ellie visits him and apologizes for her actions. Miko is pleased by her honesty, and he is not angry with his wife, since trust and sincerity are important to him. A little later, Olavi announces his desire to leave, but Miko asks his friend to stay a few more days. During lunch, the men recall the events of their youth and funny stories that happened to them over the period of many years of friendship. At some point, Miko suggests living not in memories, but in the present, and picks up a gun. He suggests creating new events in his life and aims at his best friend's head. Having not forgiven his wife and comrade for their betrayal, Miko dreams of ending it all, but cannot gather his courage and begins to cry. Olavi decides to leave the archipelago and his friends give him a lift to the departing ship. Before leaving, the man invites Ellie to leave with him, but the woman refuses, choosing her husband. Olavi swims away, and Ellie and Miko return home. In the evening, the couple hugs and tries to move on with their lives. During the conversation, Ellie admits that she is afraid to be honest with her husband. Miko is understanding and ready to forget about everything that happened, since he loves his wife more than anything in the world. Soon the couple's life returns to normal. Miko works as a pastor, and Ellie enjoys nature and climbs her favorite apple tree. Upon returning home, the couple locks themselves in the bedroom and learns to trust each other again. Sometime later, Ellie is sitting by the window and notices a deer hiding in the bushes nearby. Realizing that she loves only her husband, the woman for the first time invites Miko to join her and go fishing. Looking at her loved one, Ellie finally realizes that this is the only person with whom she wants to spend her whole life. Thanks for watching. We hope you like and subscribe. See you soon.